Cura isso aí. Oh, are you kidding me? Quality Australian salmon. It is going bananas out here. Hey folks, Tom here from Tom Time Fishing. Big, big welcome to the channel. And if you've been living in South East Australia around the Christmas period, you know the weather's been absolutely crap. It really has. But we've got a break in the weather right now for a couple of hours. Heard the excuse to duck down to the surf beach down here, Lake Bunga, and go for a little fish and see what's about. Any salmon, any tailor, any gummy shark, whatever. So we're doing exactly that. We've got the line out there right now. Just a single rod today. The swell is pumping. It is still pumping from the other day. We'll be running at about a meter and a half or so. It was about two and a half the other day. So, look, line's in there. Let's just sit back. Let's see how we go. This could be a lot of fun. Oh, we're into one. I think we're into just a little fish here. Yeah, we definitely are. I'm getting a little bit now. <laughs> okay. A little juvenile salmon. It's a little uh, Australian salmon, just a little juvenile, this one here. Yeah, you probably put it about 27 or some of that. Not bad for five minutes in. I don't want to get too close to the water, but there's plenty of water receding here. Buddy, oh, see you later. What a nice rod and reel you need for a surf rod, I reckon. This is a Shimano 6000 bait runner. You got about 20 pound braid, loaded with it, absolutely loaded with it. That there is a Silsar power tip. It's about 13 foot long, that rod. About a 10 to 15 kilo rod, so it's gonna pull around these salmon, no worries in the surf, and could tangle around with the gummy shark or two as well, if there's a few kicking about. Should be able to handle on that. Then we've got a Padnossa rig. We're a bit tangled up here, but just one I just made. Got two droppers. Size 2 O bait holder hooks. Then my nifty little sinker with the prongs, which will just flick them out like that. It's gonna help us stay anchored, especially in this swell, which comes and goes a bit, but there's a bit of a side current too. This will anchor quite nicely. So we got the, the filter head in the bottom, I'm putting the tail at the top here. Then it's very simply a couple of half inches around the tail. Helps it stay better. And we're into it. And uh, look, we're not going out too far here. You see here the waves breaking there. It's sort of kind of flat water in front of us here. Like you see a wave there, it looks like about to break, but just to the right, it's flat. That's because it's deeper there. If it was shallower, that wave would break. So we're just gonna go past that little breaker there, which we easily done. There it is there. Yeah. The gutters are pretty close in here this beach right now. Um, waves kind of form the beach, like the gutters and the shallow parts and whatever, then each time you come to the beach, you can sometimes eat it different. But right now they're in close, which is very, uh, very handy. Oh yeah. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a really good hit. Okay, we've got a bit of fish on here. It's a really nice fish, actually. I was just thinking as I cast it out there, maybe I've got a little bit shallow. Too close in. Well, it goes to show, you don't really need to get a big cast out when your gut is in nice and close. So he's a nice fish, he's really pulling me to the side here. Nice fish. So another thing as well, why well, I picked this beach as well, the time to come down to here. Not only is there a break in the weather, but sort of rising tide. Probably a couple hours for high tide. So I think this is prime right now. These fish are coming in now in these gutters while there's more water coming in over them. And they're on the hunt like what they're doing here. There he is, there's a little, little jump out the back there. All right, so we're gonna push him up here with a surge when he comes. 
Oh no, we'll wind him up. He's a ripper. Oh yeah. Oh Jesus. He's a ripper. Would you look at that? Nice clean fish. There's a myth that these things only go in winter. Well, I'll tell you now, I know it's been a crap summer, but we're in the summer right now. And they're going pretty well. He's worthy of a photo, that bloke. Got a bit of water here, buddy. See you later. There's a bite. Oh. We got him. Oh. I oh know, we got him. I thought I pulled the hooks. <laughs> Jeez, they are they're going pretty well out there. We've been here all of about 10, 15 minutes, I'd say. Hooked into our third fish. Oh, I love a little fish. Love a little fish. Coming in with the tide, these fish, so I dare say that once this tide sort of stops, we come up here now, we'll wash him up. I dare say once this tide stops, we'll probably slow down the fishing, but for now, we'll have a couple of hours of red-hot fishing like this. <laughs> Jeez, they go hard, these fish, don't they? Don't they just? There he is there. Lovely little model here. Hey, you're a beautiful fish, we'll put you back. See you later. Are you kidding me? <laughs> would have just hit the water. Oh, what's going on there? They are in good numbers out there. Are you kidding me? Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Well, this is exciting fishing. <laughs> this is on the edge of your seat stuff right here. Right, now we got a bit close to it. I'll just back it off the traction. Right, so you gotta come up and surge here, we'll crank it up, crank, crank, crank. Chris, where are we here? Jeez, I'll tell you what, this is like an average fish today so far. He's a bloody thumper. <laughs> Christ. That's pushing like 40 there, I reckon he's easily 40. Quality Australian salmon. See you later. How good is that? It is going bananas down here. Probably a little bit small this fella, but it's okay. It's all fun. It's all really good fun. I dare say it's giving my fifth fish for you or half an hour. This is really good fishing. I'm wash him up here. It's coming in with the surge here. <laughs> okay, he's more the average fish. Beautiful. Beautiful. See you later, buddy. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> boy, oh boy. 
A little small, you know that small out there. Oh, thanks for coming, buddy. See you later. Okay, let's see what's been munching that bait for the last 10 minutes of stealing it. <laughs> I don't think these fish mind this swell either. It's, it is a bit lumpy out there, especially in close to shore, but it's probably stirring up this water a fair bit and creating a bit of an opportunity for these fish to feed a bit more. It's coming in. Here we go. Here we go. Just a little fella. I think this is what's pinching that bait at the moment. It's cool. These little fish have moved in. There. Got a bit of sand on him, but a little juvenile salmon. Probably put him at about 27, 28. See you later, buddy. See you later. Oi! There he is there. Oh, he's a nice fish. Doesn't look like, feel like too bad of a fish. Have to wait a little bit longer then. I don't mind that if I'm going to wait a little bit longer to get a better fish. Here, give me a bit. Certainly is. He is powering this fish. Absolutely powering. So now it's back off the drag of switch. You gotta to touch hard on that. Here he's at the back there. Nice fish. Coming in with the surge now. It'll run out soon when this runs out. So it's back off the traction. Good fun. It's a great fun. On the local surf beach. Well, not local for me, but local for the blokes who live down here. And they're nice fish. Oh, yeah, that's better. Here's a better model. Yeah. Look at that for a salmon. Probably put in about 40, 41, maybe. How good is this? Thanks for coming. Got a big search here. Oh no. I've done a mischief. Ah, oh, see you later mate. See you later. Not the most graceful release, but looks like he kicked off fine. He did. He did. You know what folks, we'll see you later too. Um, this has been an absolute joy to fish here, it really has been. We've been here an hour and a half. The first hour was red hot, it really was. And it's gonna slow down a bit, but you know what? A little bit hungry, I might go get some breakfast. But uh, it's been a great way to spend the morning here in between the weather here. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to hit that, that thumbs up button, give us a subscribe. You know what, give us a comment too. We'd love a bit of feedback on these kind of surf fishing videos and want to work out ways how I can make these a bit more engaging, a bit more better. So. Don't forget to drop a comment there. Um, we'll see you next time on Toy Time Legends. Cheers.